All right, so today what we're gonna do is we are going to try out the Ryobi One Plus heat gun in a real situation where I actually need a heat gun. What I wanna do is I want to see if the One Plus heat gun is uh, able to mend back this thick plastic uh, that, that melted last year. Now what this is, is this is my boat engine cover uh, and last year this was one of the pieces that melted when the engine overheated. So in its current condition it cannot go back onto the boat as you can see it is seriously messed up and so I'm gonna see if I can get this to fix this because this is like a $200 part. So instead of buying a new one I'm just gonna see if I can uh, bend it back. And then all I have to do is get a washer and then a, a nut, and then I'm good to go. So now I did, uh, I did do an unboxing of this uh, already, and I did do a test between this versus a corded heat gun, and also a, a test was done between the Ryobi One Plus heat gun and the Milwaukee Fuel portable heat gun. So, and then that test result was pretty much the same. But it is still fun to watch to see Milwaukee versus Ryobi and the results are there. So just check those videos out if you want to see them. If you want to see the unboxing of this to see what you actually get. So yes, this thing is, is awesome. I only tested this out yet. I have not used this in a real situation, which we're going to do that now. And I'm excited about that. So let's, uh, I have gloves because this is going to get hot. I have gloves. And the last thing I need is a two pliers so I can bend stuff back. All right, so let's begin. I'm hoping that it's capable of doing it. I am truly hoping it does. I always get called during this time. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning to you, sir. How are you doing today on this morning? Doing good. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, I have a feeling that this won't work. And, okay, let's, I think it's time to uh, go to this little smaller section, see what it does. I think that this is uh, too high grade of plastic to be able to melt like this because it took a majorly overheated engine to melt this like this, to melt the way that this is. So I have a feeling that this heat gun is not powerful enough to uh, shape this high grade of plastic. But we will see. If that doesn't do anything, then it's just going to be, it's not going to bend back. It's really hot, but that's not going to bend anything. No. 
Battery is at 75%. Those are the marks from the from the pliers. Nope. No. All right, so when it comes to melting this high grade of plastic that is actually designed to withstand a tremendous amount of heat coming from the engine, this, the one plus heat gun is not powerful enough to uh, mend this piece back. It's just not. I went through uh, probably 60 uh, something percent uh, to do what I just did and it, it's just not powerful enough it's uh, unfortunately this plastic is too high grade I'm actually pretty sure that a regular corded heat gun would have if issues with trying to mend this piece because this is actually designed to withstand a tremendous amount of heat so so yeah I'm gonna. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna uh, try some more, and uh, try it later on. So, but this heat gun is actually a very good. It is a good heat gun for when it comes to doing your regular routine stuff. Now, uh, I, as I said before, I did already make a video of testing to see how if this heat gun is good, and it uh, both the Milwaukee and the One Plus. Uh, have proven to melt your your regular plastic with ease and uh, and yeah but this is now available to buy at the Home Depot website for $99 and uh, it's good for uh, a heat gun that is not that you don't need a cord with so if you're going up on a ladder or if you need to do stuff where you don't have a power supply right next to you this is the way to go because you will need a heat gun in certain situations to where you can't be right next to a power supply. But just to show you guys what this heat gun is capable of, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly melt this spray paint can cap. Just to show you that it is capable of producing a lot of heat. I'm trying to get this to focus. There we go. And there it goes. Drip on me. And there we go. So that pretty much concludes the test of the Rival One Plus heat gun to try to melt and mend back a high quality plastic that's designed to withstand the heat. But as you can see, when it comes to regular use, it melts plastic easily. So, is this a lot of money? Is this for $99? Is this worth it? No. This should be about a uh, $50 to $60 item instead of $100. Now, if it came with a, uh, a battery and a charger, then yes, the $100 is worth it. But for the tool only, this should be about $60, uh, $50 to $60. So, but I wanted it because it's portable, 
you'd pay a, a tiny bit more for the other portable heat gun from uh, Milwaukee. But I wanted to stick with the Ryobi brand, so I got that. And yes, uh, it's nice to be able to bring this uh, wherever you need to. In case you need a portable heat gun, you have it. So that pretty much concludes this episode. Uh, this is the review and usage testing of the OnePlus heat gun. If you only think I only way in the only situation I think you should get this heat gun is if you need a portable one. So there's only two options that I know of of a quality heat gun, and that's this and the uh, the Milwaukee version. So. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.